Now, this is a Porsche 911, the 991, a wonderful car. But the question is, could it also fly, ladies and gentlemen? And that is the question of the day. Look at what I cooked again in the Microsoft Flight Simulator. As you can see, we have a very horribly sounding Porsche 911 with two exhaust pipes here for the classical engine, but also a whole V-tail that reminds me a little bit of the Cirrus Jet. Talk about jet, we have a jet engine on top. And this honestly looks like it could be doable, buildable, and it doesn't even even look that bad but today we're going to talk about why we really still don't have flying cars and why it doesn't really make sense and it's just way too expensive any, any, anyway right so anyway welcome aboard the porsche 911 we can go into the cockpit right now uh which looks like this it's broken that doesn't matter we see our jet engine so let's go ahead and take off and we will already face some challenges go full power and we can see the engine the sound is just horrible please ignore that anyway we already reached our first problem here. This car is way too low, so wing strikes are imminent. We already had one, we already had two, and this thing is actually, oh no, it's not really working well at all. And also, this airplane needs a lot of speed. We can already tell that. Why, you know, especially a sports car like this creates a lot of downforce, that's the whole point. The point is definitely don't take off, you know, when you're driving 300 kilometers an hour. Cars and planes are very different in this regard. Cars don't want to take off. Planes don't want to not take off. They want lift, cars don't. Why am I over explaining this? You just need so, so much speed because of the draggy way in there. Oh, cars, whoa, don't, okay. We have done, we've done something wrong. Anyway, we have taken off. This is not the best model, but hey, it's physically simulated. Also, for the size, a car obviously weighs a lot more than a plane, but something we have is quite sporty full of flying. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is me flying around in my Porsche 911, which steering wheel doesn't work. This is another problem, like that you control inputs. How would you fly it? You know. Hey, well, look, we can see outside. Here's here the O2 Stadium. We can even do some stunts. Never mind, we've pulled the G limits. Great. Now there's one other big issue. Once again, a Porsche is a lot more heavy than a Cessna, interestingly enough, you might not expect. So in order to fly this, we need quite the engine. The problem is that that engine needs a lot of fuel, but the Porsche has a fuel tank of what, 50 liters, depending on the configuration. We are in the grass. So this thing has probably a flight time of not a lot and we're unable to properly take off because a car this low to the ground with these wings just confuses everything. I like how it thinks that it's doing a permanent, like, uh, nose tip strike, you know? Can you see that? All right, we're overrunning. Now we're in the fort. Never mind, we're flying, ladies and gentlemen. Wonderful news. All right, looking good. Off the mat, I think we've run out of fuel already. Uh, this, uh, went, this was very, uh-oh, we've lost the engine. Oh, something that's good is that this plane glide flies. Actually, interestingly enough, actually talking about this, it flies interestingly well, this plane. It flies really well. So it's, it's a great glider as well, and we can land it on a road! I forgot that we're a car! It doesn't matter! We can literally just land. Let's do that right now. All is looking magnifique. We can just, here we go. We need to just land on this road. There we go. This is brilliant. So there we go. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. Let's not crash into a truck. All's well. It's closing down to one lane. Yeah. Oh, we've crashed. We've crash landed. That hasn't gone well. Maybe the airbags would have went off and saved us. After all, cars, in terms of crash safety, are a lot safer than planes. So this is perfect. You know, the problem is that I've not only made a pretty bad plane, but I've also made an insanely bad car. We're driving down this road and it won't fit anywhere, really. Look at the look at the headlights. I think that I've done that quite cool. Please don't mind that the wheels don't actually spin, by the way. Yeah, that's not really a thing here. So what we're doing right now is we're driving up to the airport, which is like the main problem. I mean, people dream about flying cars all the time, but the only way that would make sense is for it to be VTOL, take off vertically. Problem is, there is not a lot of planes that can do that, and it's very hard to actually realize it. And that's honestly probably part of the problem, because like this car probably would cost a million dollars, probably. For that price, you could get a car and a real airplane. And the thing is, even with this one, you have to drive to the airport, which you'd have to do anyway. You know, there's like no benefits. No benefits at all. We just made a very bad car and a very bad plane at the same time. And no matter what you do, I think this is really cool, but I feel like this thing is worse than a plane and worse than a car because of the combination. Don't mix. Let's go ahead now and uh, this gate can't open, right? I think we just have to smash through it. 
Wow, highly realistic smashing going on. Please ignore the fact that we have a blown tire, sort of. That happened. Okay, so we now taxi directly to the runway. And this is kind of cool. The car just isn't a very nice Porsche anymore, so it doesn't corner at all very well doesn't corner at all very it actually taxis like a plane probably because of the flight sim all right a little off-roading and the off-roading oh jet porsche great hey this is gonna do some drifts here wow look at that yeah a little bit of a donut uh, now what i want to do is do a little bit of a range check we're now 45 kilograms of fuel in our tanks which is you know pretty much what a porsche would have and my calculations say that this jet engine could run 11 minutes so it's not very that's like another problem Right, this is absolutely stupid. All right, so let's go and just uh, let's just go with quick taxi here. It's so interesting that even at the small airports, because a Porsche is very small compared to a Cessna, this thing looks tiny. It is tiny. All right, let's go. Time to go. All right, let's know, man. Porsche is taking off. All right, that was a little drip. Maybe I should have maybe like fixed the flight dynamics because this sucks. But hey, we're going full power. This thing is t giving its best. I could have put the flaps down, by the way. There, I could do that. Yeah, look at this. So flaps come down. It's just that this thing needs a lot of runway to even take off at all. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we have actually taken, taken off. And this is a wing wake. And honestly, once again, this thing flies pretty well. Something I would like to do now is do a nice landing in a Porsche. Look at this beautiful Sedona. This is like Radiator Spring for flying around Sally. But why something we shall do now is do a landing. Because this truly does look interesting. Approaching a runway with an actual car. Can you imagine that? Let's go ahead and do that. Porsche logo. The doors don't have textures and the seats don't either. Don't matter. Let's go ahead and land now. Oh, we've oversped the flat. I think we're crashing this a little bit. It's all fine. Let's go ahead and put, put, touch down. I think this is an interesting look now. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. We are right now approaching a big airport. International runway. John F. Kennedy. I've got good speed. This is all perfectly fine. This thing's actually very, very fast. Much faster than a Cessna, by the way. It's crazy how quick we are. 150 knots. That is so fast. Even for a, a Porsche just touching down, that is a crazy amount of speed. But all is well. Let's go ahead and just land now. Carefully, though. Very carefully. Oh, all right, that's been even even that's been hard. Let's go ahead and stop. This thing doesn't have reverse thrust, so it needs some good braking. Uh, okay, we built we built a very poor car. Oh my god! And just look at the ridiculousness of of this. I mean, this car is so tiny. I mean, plain car and. I've kind of killed my brakes, haven't I? Anyway, look at the size comparison to like a triple seven. This thing is tiny, very small. You know what? I feel like this car, though, is, you know, it feels relatively okay to drive on like even an American street because it's much wider. So the big, oh, this guy is speeding. But the, the big wingspan isn't even that big of a problem, right? I mean, yeah, no one can pass us and we've just crashed into a tree. So we have to kind of always go... No, this is absolutely stupid. This is a good test. Do the traffic lights actually, do they do something? Do they work? Wait, let's go. Let's see. Okay, traffic lights are off. They have traffic lights. This and that's actually sick. I didn't know that. He's driving anyway. No. All right, someone is going to prison. They're all, they're all driving. They're all running the red light. I'm running too. Look at this, but I'm a plane. Let's ignore this. Let's ignore that. They're all run. What are the lights even for then? They're just fake, huh? All right, okay. I'm really struggling to take control of this thing. But all's fine. We can probably use this road to take off, right? We're taking off in the middle of the city. You might not even need an airport. If we if we cut down some trees. Okay. Oh, that's green. Definitely. All right. Now we're getting up to proper speed. It's very interesting how much runway this airplane needs. I mean, car, plane, thing. And I think our brakes are very much on fire. Look at this. We can take off now. Look at this. And once this plane is in the air, it's crazy how well it flies. So, ladies and gentlemen, our brakes are on fire for some reason. And we're dying. We're generally dead. We're no, never mind. We're not dead. This is by far my worst creation, and maybe we should really stick to building really good cars and really good planes. But not mix that. And this is this is not good because this thing won't even take off at all. Oh, never mind. We've been able to we've been able to take off. This is totally fine. So I think you guys so much for watching. Uh oh, this uh oh vid uh oh video. Ah, you know what? It deserved it. Good night. And a special thanks goes out to my members, my supporters. <laughs> Guns Killer, R27, James Deram, That Dude, Anime Gods of Gaming, Derek, Insider Plane, Nishijitsu Finer, Professional Jamal, Ryland Williams, and New the York. You've got beautiful names.